So several people at this point have asked me, Perspective, you're so negative about Earthrise. What are your thoughts on Kingdom? And I've been kind of coy about it, only really saying that I'm interested, basically because I wanted to make this video. And well, there doesn't seem to really be a better time to do it than now, considering all the recent info and official artwork drops and the fact that I've made several Beast Wars related videos in the last week, partially just on coincidence, partially by intent. I guess this makes the first week of October Beast Wars week. Let's start off by saying, I'm a little suspicious they haven't announced Dinobot yet. Methinks he might be more than just a deluxe. I both do and do not want that. How about a Dinobot in every size class? Who's down? Also, I was really hoping the arc would turn out to be a repurposed Vigilum. Vigilum has a right color scheme, his alt mode isn't far off, and it would make sense that he would be repurposed as the Autobot's escape tool as punishment. But this artwork is suggesting otherwise to me. Now, for the figures actually announced. I am stoked to see the Return of Legends class. The Micromasters just weren't doing it. The quality on them was low, they didn't quite fit, they just weren't fun, and it didn't mean we saw the end of Legends figures. What it meant was we just got fewer of them, but we were charged deluxe class prices for what little we got. Bring back Legends, hell yeah. Rat Trap. This figure looks a little weird. Could be a smidge more paints on the limbs, not liking the look of that tail, probably just gonna be hanging off of him in robot mode. The feet are wrong, and I really wish his arms opened up for demo charges, but... I can't say this looks anything other than fantastic to me. This little guy is bringing out the inner child in me in a big way. I can't look at this without smiling. It's like it's 1996 again and I'm on my way to Toys R Us. Optimus is looking a little shoddy though. Could be fun, still going to pick it up, but why is the peg for his gun like three times longer than it has any business being? Vertebrae. Okay, the weaponizers are now living fossils. One, way more sense. Two, so much cooler. Three, all modes that kick ass? Hell to the fuck yes! All that said, it looks like Vertebrake might not actually be a weaponizer. I don't know why some of the Skelemans would be weaponizers and others wouldn't. Legends class weaponizers would be sweet. Deluxe, let's start off with the odd man out. What is that? What is that? Is that part swearing I see? Better not be. I wanna love this, I do. I want a good warpath. Don't just fuck it up with mandatory part swarming. As long as the transformation can be completed without part swarming, I'm cool. So just don't fuck it up. Black Arachnia. Is it sad that the spider mode on this looks better than the masterpiece? First strike against it I'm noticing though, faux forming spider head. That's not the same piece. That's obviously not the same piece. Those feet are also weird. Can't say I'm confident in the stability of them. That is a mean looking spider head, by the way. By making her all ash, she's kind of turned into an aggressive looking tank of a thing. Robot mode is looking good. Might end up having to do a, what's the best? Black Arachnia at some point. Claw hands, mm, still hate him. And those clearly don't pose well. Really Hasbro, you couldn't just stick a hinge joint in there? Upgrade sets, get on giving this girl some real arms. We can totally pop her arm off at the swivel. Cheetor, ooh, the banana yellow is not treating you well, son. And you got a bad case of the kibbles. That's a trans metal reference I'm noticing there, is it? I get that technically this guy has a lot of paint, what with all the spots, but yeah, that's uh, he needs more. This color palette sucks. How is it that the original figure looks better than this? Like why didn't they just heavily update that figure? Eh, I don't hate this. Well, I hate the color, but it still looks decent. And my inner child is still appeased. Paleotrix. What faction is this guy? I don't see a badge on him. Oh! Oh, that's cool. It's on the, like the hanger. Why does he turn into Optimus's weapon then? That box art is also a lie. That is not what the face looks like. Wait, that looks like Nightbird. Is this a woman? Oh wait, there's two. Why are there two? Is this gonna be like multiple characters as the same figure? Mm, this is interesting. Bone weaponizers, bone transformers. I'm excited for this. God, it's sad that most kids don't care about toys anymore because this is awesome. I'd have killed for this stuff when I was young. Optimus Primal, not liking the texture work on this body. Those hands look silly too. They look like foam Hulk hands. The blue is also just off to my eye. And that gorilla is ugly. It's real ugly. What's with the fupa on this boy? Looks gross as hell. And that's not the head I want to see on the monkey. Honestly, this is the ugliest figure in the line. Also, heel toes, gross. What are you doing here, Cyclonus? Is it cause Studio Series is full right now? This boy has a very different aesthetic going on and does not seem to have ankle tilts. Though the product photography on him is abysmal. Look at this. Here's a shot of the space jet mode where they clearly forgot to flip the fists away. And here's a shot with them put where they should be. These are official product shots, people. How did they screw up this badly, not notice, and then leave it up? Anyways, don't get me wrong. This looks great. Absolutely gonna buy this. Face is a little bad, but the rest looks fantastic. Megatron. Okay, I'm gonna start off saying that's the wrong dino head. His old one is so expressive and iconic. This one just doesn't capture his personality. And he looks to be sporting an absolutely heaping backpack. But dino mode still looks great. I see a robot arm in the tail and the robot mode is the spitting image of what it should be. That is a fucking monstrous looking backpack though. I'll give you 10 to one odds on the figure being a shell former. I think Rooster Teeth is gonna cry themselves to sleep when they try to make the show for this line. That, or they're just not going to incorporate the beast aspect even a little. Okay now, let's cover the rumored characters that are all but confirmed at this point. I'm going to use this artwork to do it. Let's start off with this little guy right here. How much do I bet his name is gonna be Skull Crusher slash Skull Cruncher? That's all I have to say for him. Is that Polar Claw I spy? Interesting pick. This toy meant a lot to me, but it's not an important one as far as the series or the line was concerned. Gears, what are you doing here? 
No one's asking for you. Is that Scorponok I see? Interesting question. Will there just be two Scorponoks in the War for Cybertron trilogy? Or is this going to be connected to the Titan class figure? The window chest looks like it could be a different Wheeljack, but it could also just be an incorrect drawing of the Earthrise one, considering several of these look like the Earthrise figures. Triceratops Bone Boy. I, I, uh, I don't have anything else to add to that. Inferno. We've had leaks that there's going to be an Inferno, and it was always kind of obvious considering we had the grapple. You might remember, I wasn't a big fan of the Earthrise grapple. His transformation is boringly simple, and his robot mode is boring to look at. But while not much can be done about the transformation, the colors and the look of Inferno should be more dynamic. So this might end up a significantly better figure than grapple. Though I swear, we better get a fucking Beast Wars Inferno. Like, I swear to God, just fucking don't screw me on this. Ultra Magnus, I thought you died. Anyways, this might just be the Siege one again, but I'm hoping this is a new mold. If, you know, this is them showing off a figure who's going to be in the line. It could just be that Ultra Magnus was not supposed to die as far as the toy line is considered. And it could be that they were just showing off that the old figures can be here too, guys. Tracks. Interesting. I feel like he could end up being a retool of the Runabout Runamuck mold. Huffer. Ah, I see we're getting the two complainy boys. Interesting choice. How's it going there, Air Razor? That's clearly not what your alt mode is going to actually look like, but it's nice to see that you'll be included. This better mean we're getting a Rhinox, though that looks like it might be the Generations figure, so that would be less than ideal. I'm definitely hoping for a new mold. They better not just be showing off the Generations figure and saying like, hey, you could just pull this from a line from several years ago and include it into the new one. Who's Prime wearing? That's definitely a Sabretooth Tiger. We've not had one of those announced yet. Waspinator. A Beast Wars line without him would be heresy, but this just looks like the Generations figure again. Better not be. That artwork is definitely not looking like Vigilant. Head's looking a bit like the Autobot symbol too. Where in the goddamn hell is Dinobot? I swear, if this art is faked, I'm gonna be sad. For the absolutely official artwork though, Dinobot confirmed, always good news. Rhinox confirmed, Air Razor, Tigatron, Scorponok up there in the corner. Is that someone there next to Scorponok or is that just artifacting? Black Arachne, what happened to your face? Your lips are messed up and where's your mask? This is looking like it's confirming Galvatron and Megatron are the same person, which is interesting, considering that it seems to be the last thing Hasbro wants to do anymore, and I agree with that decision. Unicron there. Ugh, not feeling that. I'm sick of the mythic place he's taken as the franchise's version of Satan, considering that in the movie he's from, no one knew what or who the fuck he was. He was just this thing going around destroying planets in the dead of space. We know that there's other cybernetic life out there in the galaxy in Transformers that is not Cybertronian. Just let him be not Cybertronian. Let him be unconnected, please. No one likes the mythologizing you keep trying to do. No one likes the 13 Primes. No one likes the Fallen. No one likes gods for the Transformers. Anyways, that's all the good, solid information I have to go off now. So to stop being coy, to stop saying I'm interested, to stop leaving it vague so I can do this video, I can finally say I'm not interested in this line. I'm thrilled. I'm rabidly excited. I am ravenously waiting for this line. Hasbro, just end Earthrise early. It's not worth it. Wasn't great to begin with. Just get it out of the way. Start Kingdom now. Oh, cannot wait. I can't get this way about G1 anymore. We've had it again and again every year for the last 30 years. This feels special. This wouldn't feel so good if we Beast Wars fans weren't so underserved. So I don't know. Is it better this way? Is it better that we've been ignored for the last 20 years so that way we can have this moment? This glorious moment. This is what it's all about, people. And that's not half of what I have to say, but it's enough of what I have to say. And I know, you know, what everyone else tells you to do at the end of these videos. So if you like what you saw here, please do that. And if you'd like to take it a step further, then please share this video with any friend you think may be interested. I hope you all enjoyed listening to me waste your time.